welcome to Talks at Reuters. My name is Jake Dinsberg. I'm the Bureau Chief uh, for the UK and Ireland for Reuters, and I am delighted to welcome so many of you here for the Orwell Prize shortlist debate this evening. <coughs> when we first discovered that there was a slight clash between this debate and a certain <laughs> other debate that was happening this evening, we were a little bit worried because we thought perhaps nobody would actually want to come to this debate when there was something else going on this evening. But actually, it turns out that Many people want to be with other people who want to talk about politics, so it's great to see so many of you here. I'm just going to give you a quick rundown of how this evening will work. Um, if, first of all, I can ask you to switch your mobile phones onto silent. I know many of you will be wanting to blog or tweet and <laughs> sound the echo chamber, um, but please could you at least turn the ringers on your phone off? Thank you. Uh, so that's the first thing. The second thing is um, we'll shortly have the announcement of the shortlist for the Orwell Prizes for this year. After that we'll have some time to debate the motion, has the political class been thinking we can without very experienced panellists. And then after this debate, which has a few rules but not 76 rules, <laughs> uh, we will be screening the leaders' debates here at Reuters. So please do stay with us, there'll be drinks and canapes outside and do stay with us for that event. Um, and please do retweet your tweets if you're tweeting to Reuters underscore code or underscore UK and the Orwell Prize. There's also a hashtag, the Orwell Prize, so please remember to do that if you're, you're twittering about us this evening. Uh, and so without further ado, I'd like to introduce Jean Seaton, Director of the Orwell Prize, and that's the show. We're very grateful to all of you for coming tonight. Um, and I'm going to go through our, and we're very grateful to the people that give us <laughs> the pittance we run on, um, um, because we wouldn't be here without them. And we're really excited um, about the debate tonight. We've been really excited by the quality and range of the books and journalism and blogging that's come in. We, we try and do argument. And we thought we got quite a good argument going tonight, and um, it's a good night for people to bang together. I hope you notice that this is basically women talking about yeah. politics. Yay. And, and, and um, all, although every single one of them looks absolutely gorgeous, we're not going to talk about the colour of their cardigans. Um, so I feel that, um, so we, I feel quite proud actually, because it does seem to me that we're heading out into a very male election, even though half of the voters uh, remain as they always have been um, on the distal side. Okay, I'm going to do the, I'm going to go, go through first of all um, the sort of long, long list and then the, then the short list. Um, uh, and the single instruction we give our judges every year is that what you've got to do is, I'm very stern with them, is try and find the things that um, deliver on all world's ambition to make political writing into an art. Um, and our, we're enormously dependent on our judges. And this year at the Book Prize, which is what I'm going to do last, first we had Jonathan Haywood um, from English Pen, Andrew Holgate from the Sunday Times, and Francine Stock from Radio 4 and Novels. And they were, they were absolutely delightful um, judges. We had a wonderful long list, culled quite difficult from a whole range of books. We had uh, Nick Cohen's wonderful, <laughs> <laughs> prescient waiting for the Etonians, but also in Nick's actually inimitable bravery, and he's a, he's a very unique and particular voice. We had um, uh, Bettina Gapper, we had uh, Ruth Bedley Edwards' Aftermath, a very extraordinary book, actually. Uh, very compelling read. We had all sorts of, we had Ben Wilson's What Price Liberty, um, <laughs> um, a, a tour de force actually, the kind of an argument from a, a, a different generation actually. Um, and that was, uh, and we had David Gardner's incredibly um, well written, fierce, bursting with anger book about what's happening to the Middle East and how much we've got it wrong. Um, and the judges, not me, uh, the judges had a difficult time, and in fact they had one extra meeting, it was so difficult. Um, and, but it wasn't anything to do with Francine being so lovely. Um, um, and I'm now going to, 
announce the show. So, could you all, first of all, clap the long list? <laughs> thinking and writing and publishing going on in Britain. Um, but the shortlist this year um, is Christopher Berlaig, Rebel Round, an extraordinary book um, a, 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 about Turkish forgotten people, with himself in the story, a really fantastically interesting and important good read. Um, the next, Gavin? Um, an energy for recently, um, a new voice of Zimbabwean short stories, some of which I defy you not to remember overnight and the next day. Really haunting new voice writing uh, about Zimbabwe, uh, really tremendous short stories. Um, Andrew Gillies Keeper, an extraordinary book about both the mind um, and indeed and indeed Alzheimer's. Um, a, a, a fantastically good read and an important book about Britain and problems that we all face. Wonderful book. Um, beautifully written. Don Kapfner, a tour de raison. Um, particularly brilliant, I thought, on Singapore. I think the judges thought so too. A wonderful um, exploration of the kind of deal that the world is making around freedom and censorship. Um, a really challenging book, a wonderfully written, um, a very knowledgeable and with some really unexpected corners of the world explored. Wonderful book. Um, from Fat Monty Jihad, yeah. um, uh, again, a, a re I thought a really important bit of history. Pinning down, you know, that post rushdi moment and what was happening to the politics um, in Britain and abroad. Um, a book that gives you the story of where we are now, which really develops out of Ed Hussein's book but is much more concrete in a funny kind of way. Really, I thought a very, my judges thought, but I also thought, <laughs> a very important, wonderful book. Um, Michaela Ron, it's our turn to read. Um, a, a, a story of corruption, but with a twist in it, um, with, a, with a powerful character at the centre of it, and, and a powerful character in Michaela, in fact, who, who interrogates that powerful character. Um, sternly written, beautifully written, an important story that is much more general than even about the particular story it tells about Kenya, an important book, and beautifully written, very, very distinguished writing. Um, so, that is our shortlist this year. They, they, I recommend you go out and buy them and read them, because they are all absolutely wonderful, and I would like to congratulate everybody.